All right, welcome back. So this is day two. Hey, it's Go. So yes, this is day two or part two of this cybersecurity video. Be sure to check out the first video. This has a lot of good information that'll help you understand this video. I will leave that link in the description. So I ended up making these tools today. So I ended up making a couple bootable flash drives with different operating systems on it. This is Parrot Security OS. This is Parrot Home. I'm going to be making a separate video comparing uh, these two OSs because uh, some people don't know there's even a pair at home where it's really good at protecting your privacy online, but it doesn't have all the cool hacking and penetration tools. A lot of people don't really need that, but they'd rather be private. This is a really good option for you. Um, and again, we had issues uh, with the last install. But now this is day two. We're more prepared and uh, even have things like Void Linux. Uh, this is a very light uh, Linux system. Um, you can pretty much put throw this thing on everything. I actually successfully downloaded Void Linux on a Flipper Zero. So there's a video on that on my channel as well. But let's jump into this. Um, so right now, all I did was turn the computer on. I ended up hitting here the F12 key. I hit F12, it gets you into the, the boot menu here. And uh, I'm gonna boot off the USB. That's what you're gonna do also. The USB is plugged in, it's the Kali Linux install. And here we go. So we're gonna do graphical install. That's what we want. We're gonna go with English because let's not make it too interesting. Just go through the go through all the stuff that you need to go through. The location, language, configure keyboard. All right as you're going through the installation, it's gonna ask you to connect to the internet at some point. Um, right here it says uh, W LAN. This is going to be my, your wireless network. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and sign it to my network. Once you successfully log into your internet, um, just let it do what it has to do. It's ghost again. So just, I'm going to skip through this because there's a lot, but just fill out all your information, like your computer name, what you want your username to be, and password, etc. Just go ahead and fill out those blanks and once you're done, and move on to the next step. So what you're going to want to do now is click on this option. Use entire disk because it doesn't matter anymore because the old operating system that or whatever old computer you have you can want to wipe everything that's on it currently whoever it is your grandmother's stuff or your friend's stuff or even your stuff uh old stuff just you don't want a fresh start use all the resources possible so you're going to click on again that option guided use entire disk rid of all files yes all right so we'll just let this do its thing let it install itself so right now i have my other computer that was donated to me set up i have parrot os plugged in parrot home to be exact but if you remember from earlier in the video you got to make sure that secure boot is turned off or it won't even recognize as usb plugged into it so again go to your bio settings again it's gonna be one of your f12 or f2 whatever f keys you have since every computer is a little different this one was f12 to get into it because i remember from the last one um we're going to go to secure boots under security under security Secure boot, disable, F10 to save and exit usually. There's it right there, save and exit, F10. Do you want to save the changes? Yes. Make sure you hit F12 again. Okay, so now it's showing the USB flash drive now, which it didn't earlier. So now I'm going to click on that. But it should, there we go. So there, here's the... This is what it's going to look like when you start it up after you made your bootable flash drive with Parrot Home. Um, I'm putting Parrot Home on this one. I'm going to install. It says try slash install. Let that do its thing. Let's check on Kali Linux here. That is still installing. So I figured you could kill two birds with one stone. Might as well boot up this one as well. So to show you. See it multiple. Same, same computer. Same owner. Donated both computers. And I'm throwing Kali on this one. I'm throwing Home Parrot on this one. I'll be doing a separate video at some point about this. So, all right, this booted up right away. Um, well, we're gonna, I don't have a mouse on this. Or, actually, this is a touchscreen. I forgot. So, this is a touchscreen monitor, that which is even cooler. So, this makes it even more fun. So, we're going to install Parrot because uh, this is just a live option. They, they let you try it before you actually install it. So, we want to – hopefully, I can click it. I know it's, there you go. Let's go ahead and follow the instructions. Okay. Next. Yes. Yes. Uh, no, we want to erase this. We want to start all, we want, we want, we want to, again, when you're doing this, so what we're doing again, so be careful. 
This is going to delete everything on the old computer, which we want. In this case, we want. This is somebody else's stuff. I just want to use this computer and delete all the other stuff that was previously on here. So erase, use entire disk, and we'll delete everything. Next. What is your name? Uh, I'm going to do ghost. Hey, ghost again. So I'm just going to skip through this part. Uh, name your computer and uh, pick your password. And then once you're done with that, go on to the next step. But this is just to show you that you have this option. So if you're not, if you don't want a powerful cybersecurity tool per se, but you want to value privacy, this is the OS to have because Parrot Home specializes in keeping your stuff private online. It uses things like Tor Browser and other features that help keep you safe and private all right so what we're going to do is just we're going to go ahead because it gives you some options things you want to install it already all, all the things checked off is what you want anyway and if you need anything more you can add it later on but for now this is more than good enough it chooses everything for you just hit continue so just make your life easier this will give you all the basic stuff and more all right we are back so after about two hours this finally installed um Calculators took a lot longer because it's just a lot heavier of an OS. And it has a lot of tools already built in uh, for cybersecurity. Um, then this Parrot Home OS doesn't really, it doesn't have all the tools that Parrot Security has. But as you can see here, the touchscreen works on all these computers, which is really cool. Um, with no configuration at all. These touchscreen all-in-ones actually worked with the two OSs, no problem. Even with the Cali, it's registering my finger right there. And click on things etc so with this i'm going to break into that a little while about uh, the home os so what this has to offer uh this one doesn't have all the security tools but if you're looking for just have privacy and a working operating system that you can uh, look at the web and learn a little bit about linux this is a perfect operating system for somebody that wants to get into linux and that wants to have a little bit of privacy parrot home is for you so we'll break into that in another video on why that's so important uh, for people. And maybe this would help benefit others. But these two give you a perfect example that this is a full-blown security Linux-based OS. Uh, this is very highly known. There's tons of forums out there if you have any questions. Uh, there's tons of videos about the tools out there. Uh, I'm going to get into videos uh, eventually about the tools and how to use them. Um, right off the bat, of course... If you look through, right through all the lists here, you got um, you got auditing tools, d digital forensic tools, um, wireless tools. I mean, you got everything for pen testing you would need, especially for starting out. All these free tools. Again, all you use was a flash drive, and you follow the steps uh, earlier in the video. Uh, you install the operating system on the old computer, and you basically have uh, your own brand new cybersecurity computer doesn't need all that fancy hardware it uses the old hardware that's already in these computers and it's just giving it a new life and a new purpose and it's free i mean you can get a donated computer there's got to be some kind of old computer that you can get your hands on and uh or somebody can give you that trying to throw away i got a whole bunch of old laptops that people give me from work because they don't want to throw them away in their garbage um and just how this was these are two old computers they were thrown away and i took them now i have two brand new systems i could either sell this if i wanted to or I'm going to use it for pen testing and other uh, YouTube videos uh, to help dive in deep. I'm also learning myself, so I'm getting into the tools. And you got to make sure that you do this stuff ethically and you're not attacking things that you're not supposed to attack. Uh, please don't do anything illegal. This is only for educational purposes only. But that's the reality of it is that this is a free thing. If you want to, you don't have tons of money to go buy a Flipper Zero or buy a Wi-Fi Pineapple or anything like that. There's a lot of wi-fi cracking tools already installed on cali and there's even more if you wanted to download there's tons of stuff out there but this is a good base this video is for a base and for beginners like myself um i'm learning uh, how to use the tools and again gotta be very careful when you use the tools and where but you want a free cybersecurity tool this is the best way to do it download cali linux on an old machine Download Parrot Security, Parrot Home. And again, this is more for this person that just had an old computer and you want to give it a new purpose and you want to maybe dabble a little bit in the security side and help to better protect yourself and, leave, and help to keep you a little bit more anonymous online. 
this is this is good for you. So there's two different flavors here. If you're somebody that wants to really get into it, you want somebody to lightly get into it, you got it all in this video. So if you have any questions, please comment them. Um, I really do appreciate all the support. I'm working very hard on making these videos as educational as possible. And again, I'm also learning with you guys. So just stuff. I'm just teaching you things that I learned along the way to help better uh, serve you guys. So hope you guys have a good one. Thank you for coming. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And remember, safety is an illusion. And I'll see you in the next one.